I'm Harry Atwater and today I gave a talk at the MRS meeting Career Central program on bringing a product to market uh, and recounted my experiences as a academic and entrepreneur in particular starting a company called Alta Devices. Most important things, there are five things, are a value proposition, technology, team, uh, an addressable market, and financing. Uh, and so technology is only one of those five, and I would argue, in fact, that the team is probably the most important of all of those five. So I think when people start companies, they're interested in moving forward a great idea, sort of the beautiful baby syndrome. They say, you know, I have this new idea, it's a beautiful, my beautiful baby, uh, and they focus on the technology. Uh, and as I mentioned, the most important elements are to be able to have a team that can bring your technology to market, to have a value proposition, in other words, something that uh, you're addressing a real human need or some, something the world needs to have, that there's a market for it and that somebody wants to pay for it. If uh, people here at the MRS meeting, students uh, and other uh, potential entrepreneurs are thinking about uh, starting a company, they want to test their ideas uh, against uh, those metrics. Uh, and see whether in the end they have a, th th their ideas will yield a product that somebody wants to buy. Uh, interestingly enough, we found that early employees of the early stage companies that I've started, I've started three early stage companies, have all engaged in the same evaluation just as a venture capital investor would evaluate the business plan for a company, so the early stage employees also evaluate the company from the same sort of uh, analytic metrics in order to determine whether they should invest their own human capital. And that's a, I think that's a good strategy if you're thinking about working for a startup uh, to do an analysis of the company yourself, do your own uh, net present value or return on investment calculation for your own effort invested in the company as to whether you think it will be successful and you'll, uh, you'll end up being rewarded. In the end, you'll, you'll probably be given some uh, set of shares or options to, to buy shares in that company. Uh, and in some cases, those shares are more valuable than the salary you would earn if the company is very successful. You know, for, for materials people, knowing, knowing your skills going in uh, very early and even developing your skills beforehand to uh, be able to provide value to a company um, is definitely an, an important takeaway that I got from this talk. There are lots of ideas uh, that are investable. Uh, lots of ideas in the physics, materials, chemistry space, the kinds of technologies that MRS uh, uh, oriented scientists and researchers are working on in the laboratory. And uh, although there has been uh, a reduction in the amount of uh, private venture capital that is in the, being invested into these ideas, there are still huge markets out there. There's still huge problems that the world needs to address, uh, and there are huge businesses to be built. And I, I'm very optimistic that uh, people are going to be able to continue to start companies that can address these, uh, although at any given time, the modes and the paths forward will be different. Uh, so you have to take that into account in your thinking. Mm -hmm.